Stardium is a layer 1 blockchain that focuses on scalability. It is EVM compatible, that means that every DAP and smart contract that runs on Ethereum can also run on Shardium. It scales linearly as more nodes are added to the network. Approximately one node is one transaction per second. So 100k nodes is 100k transactions per second. And this is done through the process called sharding. So what is sharding? It is when blockchain is divided into shards and within those shards you have consensus groups of nodes. So nodes within a shard, they do not validate every transaction on the network, they only validate transactions in that shard. So these consensus groups can uh, operate and validate transactions within shards in parallel, so simultaneously, and this tremendously increases the throughput and hence is the name Shardium and hence is the scalability as a main selling point. In Shardium there are 128 nodes per shard, so the more nodes you have in the network, the more shards you can have and like you can divide the blockchain more and therefore you have the higher throughput. By having more nodes you are also increasing the level of decentralization but that is generally the case for all blockchains because it is good generally to have more nodes in a network and more people participating in it and there are also some additional ways that Shardium makes sure that the network runs smoother so they have node rotation that is also quite a common thing to do and they have load detection. Using sharding already decreases the computer power needed to become a validator on Shardium. However, it goes even further and to decrease the computer power, it offloads the full blockchain data onto archive nodes and the current transactions are the only ones that are processed by validators. So you end up with three types of nodes, archive nodes that store the full history of blockchain, you end up with active nodes and standby nodes. So the active nodes validate transactions in the very moment and the standby nodes will participate when their rotation turn comes. This actually reminds me of Minima that reduced the requirements for computing power for validators so much that you can run a node on your phone. And I actually have a video about Minima, if you would like to see it, it's uh, in the description and in the cards. Now let's get into how transactions are processed in Shardium. It uses two consensus, proof of stake and proof of quorum. I'm sure most of you are already familiar with proof of stake. And all it does in Shardium is it ensures that everybody who has the minimum stake required uh, can participate in validation of transactions. And proof of quorum is needed to set up consensus and make sure that it is like going properly within each shard. So because we have sharding, we gotta have proof of quorum in this case. The validation process within a shard goes as follows. So the nodes that receive the transaction in a shard they validate the individual transaction straight away. So they don't validate the full block. The consensus is on the level of transactions. This is quite different from other blockchains and that's why I'm emphasizing this point. So afterwards they validated this transaction, they gossip it to other nodes in the shard. So gossip means that basically share it with other nodes within a shard. So they are not sharing it with the whole network, they are only sharing the transaction with some other nodes within a shard. And then those nodes share it with other nodes, so that in the end you end up with every node within a shard being aware that that transaction had happened. The validation process uses electronic votes or quorum and hence is the name of the consensus proof of quorum. And uh, when there are more than 50% of uh, electronic votes received or 50% of quorum, uh, you will get the transaction to the network and it is all done and completed. I would like to reinstate and re-emphasize the point that each transaction is validated individually, so this is kind of the main point of this consensus as well, that you don't have blocks validated, you have transactions validated individually. You have um, basically eliminated the maximum extractable value issue because you cannot like um, the minor that issue arises when you can change the transactions within a block and change their order and here you cannot change the order of transactions because they're just going on as they come so first come first serve and the transactions are time stamped and that's how you make sure that they are happening this way and that also the timestamps allow for avoidance of double spending now let's get into the part that everybody probably came to this video for, it's tokenomics and investors. So 
it had Shardium had one funding round. It was a seed round. Mostly VCs participated. It had collected 18.2 million dollars from a total of 27 investors. However, there is another source that says that there were over 50 investors who participated and ju I just assume that um, some sources counted more individual investors or angel investors and some just did not include those. Um, as I said, they're mostly VCs and I think, yeah. So the lead investors are the Spartan Group, the Struck Crypto, Half Capital Partners, Jane Street Capital, Digital Finance Group, and Big Brain Holdings. As for the tokenomics, there is a total supply of 508 million tokens. 51% of those are allocated to nodes, so node maintenance, basically you validate the rewards and archive nodes maintenance and some server maintenance, whatever you need for that one. 18% is sold on sales, both public and private, and they have the three months cliff and two year vesting period. 15% also allocated to the team with the same three months cliff and two year vesting period. 11% of tokens is allocated for the foundation that is unlocked at TGE and 5% is for ecosystem incentives and airdrops. And yep, that's also unlocked at TGE. Probably you may receive an airdrop for participating in the dApps that are running already on testnet. However, there is no in official information about that and your best bet would be to just try out any kind of dApps that you can see. So to qualify possibly for an airdrop, I found a great article uh, that mentions some of the dApps that are already running after you add Shardium to your MetaMask and uh, you go. There are two faucets, one on Discord and one is a separate website. You get your tokens there and then with those tokens you can try out the following dApps. So there are a couple of DEXs, one called Shardium Swap, Swapped Finance is a second one, and uh, on those you just generally either provide liquidity or swap the tokens around. Two name services, one is .shm, .shm, I'm not sure how to read that one, I'm sure it's not meant to be read out loud. Um, and the second one is Shardium name service, so yeah, domain services, you just pay a little bit of uh, test tokens and uh, can get your wallet named with uh, some name on Shardium blockchain. Uh, Global Swap is uh, yet another DEX on Shardium 2.0. You can also mint an NFT. The Boss Baby NFT is an example in this article. There is also Chainhash, um, also on Testnet. It is an aggregator. You can participate in that one. Um, there is also an NFT marketplace, a Sprio. And DEXpad is a launch pad for Shardium testnet, at least. So with these apps, I'm, as I said, I'm referencing a medium guide for the testnet. I will leave the link to that guide in the description. Now let's get into the roadmap. And based on it, we already passed quite a few milestones. And we are right now in quarter four of 2022. And that is the last stage before the mainnet launch in quarter one of 2023. So this is the beta stage, the beta launch of Shardium. Community can operate a validator and archive nodes. The minimum network size increases and the shard size becomes the proper size that it is going to be on the mainnet launch. So 128 nodes per shard. And the node rotation of standby nodes and active nodes also is now implemented. The token generation event is planned upon mainnet launch and along with it, you'll have the public sale. And the public sale also, as I mentioned previously, will have the three month cliff and two year vesting. And uh, at the same time, you'll have some people who gathered money from airdrops and incentives throughout this time of testing and test nets and will have no cliff or no vesting period at the token generation event. So that is just some information about the token for you. And that's all I have for Shardium for you in this video. If you have any suggestions for future videos or any questions, you can ping me in the comments or on my Twitter. I will leave the links to it in the description. And uh, thank you very much for watching and your feedback. I really appreciate it. And see you in the next one.